coming. So what's your excuse now? I have been doing high fruit diets on and off since 1994, and I'm still talking about it because high fruit diets have made me feel so good consistently through the years that I want to pass it on. And the knowledge I've gained about fruit in the diet has been pretty mind blowing and has made me passionate to keep passing it on even though I don't get very many views on my channel. I just keep going because I'm driven by this big truth that can be very helpful to people. I'm motivated by the powerful logic behind the diet and also the benefits that I've gotten. There's even this mental benefit that the community talks about called gratitude. We develop this better view of life because we're focused on something so positive. I have gratitude because of the opportunities that we have to feel good. And I cherish the fruits that nature gives. Sugar is not the answer. The answer is tidy up your carnivore diet, do it properly. That was Bart reacting to all the carnivore dieters who have been having problems with their diet and all through this year have been incorporating fruit into their diet. And it's just because they're not doing it right. I mean, not doing it properly. Yeah, okay, whatever. That's mostly the only plant food they are incorporating back into their diet. Well, they got that right. Whole food simple carbohydrates actually uptake into the body in the perfect way because it's also bundled with fiber and water. Keeps the gut microbiome at the highest level of health. Those people who are eating high fat diets are going to be constipated or they're going to have elimination issues or they're going to have congestion in the lymph and in the bowels leading to inflammation, leading to weight gain, leading to insulin resistance. Now, it's ironic because they say people with diabetes or insulin resistance should avoid fruit and eat fat, but it's the fat that causes the diabetes. If you're a diabetic watching this, you could go on an all-fruit diet for 30 days and reverse your diabetes completely. This is proven, and it shows us how the body really works. The 400 grams of carbohydrates that boy is pouring down his neck every day is fructose. He's getting away with that. Yeah, seems like we're all getting away with that. I talked with Bart once. We talked about how i gotten away with it for about 25 years at that point. And he just pushed me aside as an outlier. Well, I'm telling you, you should get in on this outlier phenomenon that's been going on in my community for 12 years. Test it out before the summer's over and see what the big deal is. Well, let's take a segue here and talk about that vibrant woman we just saw. I put those clips of her in a video I made back in late June about the submarine. It was pretty cool how, how I was able to incorporate clips of her into the video. I'm not connected, but I've connected it. I have the gift for doing that. And in that video, I never mentioned that she was a cam girl. See, I like to convey things instead of flat out say it like they do in the movies. That makes for better storytelling. But I may have dropped some hints. But I wanted to mention it here because in her line of work, it's important to maintain a fit, thin body and clear, succulent skin. And in my observations on the health of cam girls, <laughs> I've noticed, you see, those streams last for hours, a lot of time going by, a lot of chatting. And so you also see a lot of eating. And what I've noticed is they are eating fruit more often than any other food. So I'm just saying they know what they're doing. Yeah, I have really good skin too. I haven't had acne, any acne in like 20 years. And then there's the, the real smooth skin you get on this type of diet. It's actually bizarre how smooth my skin is at 55. You would, you'd be surprised. I think that there were plenty of animals that we would have eaten and there wasn't a lot of fruit. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think. People shouldn't be eating so much fruit. They're not thinking about nature. You know, just look out your window. Look out your window. I looked out mine a couple of days ago. It's not always summer you know, all over the planet. It's freezing out there. No fruit's going to grow out there. 
and there wasn't a lot of fruit. Look out your window. It doesn't matter where we are living now. We live in houses, wear jackets, and have heaters. We're clearly warm weather animals. We humans are tropical creatures made for warm weather. So summer is our time. And we fruitarians reach full bloom with the fruits. Oh, I didn't even mean to make that reference here. I, I'd written this a while back. Because <laughs> that woman we saw, I trimmed the clip. But in the original clip, her username was at the bottom there. If you want to follow her, just go watch that submarine video. And although it's getting really late in the year, summer's officially over, there's one fruit known as a summer fruit that's actually peaking around this time, and that is the honeydew. So go looking for that fruit, especially look in the lower end stores, not the chain stores. You know, places like the 99 cent store or Asian markets, that's where you get the really good ones, the ripe ones. Also keep in mind that melons need to be eaten on their own with no other food. It's best uh, first thing in the day. So, if you have not experimented with the high fruit diet before, now is a really good time to do it. Don't put it off any longer, because then we'll have to go the whole winter. It's either now or June. You can't wait till June. But come back here in June, because I'm going to be getting back into making videos about the high fruit diet. I'll be bringing in the Beach Boy music and some other stuff. Other songs you may never heard of that mention fruit in them. Or songs I somehow managed to connect with this diet. See you then. Subscribe now. Oh my god, Crazy Man! Thank you so much! I was just about to eat my strawberries though. serious physical, physiological damage being done by the fructose. Physiological damage being done by the fructose. I, th I think that probably makes sense. If there's a fruit tree or, or there's an animal, we're probably going for the fruit, right? Like, I think that I, I agree definitely, with you that. Definitely, definitely. Fruit is ideal for our body.